Starting today, millions of families across the country will see less money coming in for food. Food stamps are being cut back because the stimulus money that boosted those benefits for the last four years, it ran out last night and it's coming right in time for the holidays too. So we wanted to know what this means for families right here in West Michigan. Tonight, we're talking with Emma Rosauer, Hunger Response Director for Access of West Michigan. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. Have you had people contact you about this change? We absolutely have. It's a big change, not only for our community, but for the entire nation. And so we're seeing quite a bit of effect. Yeah. What are we talking about, uh, let's say, for a family of four? How will mm -hmm. that affect them? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a sliding scale as far as amount per family reduction. But for a family of four, it'd be about $36 per month, which is over $400 annually. And that funding is removed for the rest of their lives and so it's a it's a big effect on families right the stimulus money was put into effect to give Correct. them that extra but now that it's gone I would imagine a lot of families have probably be depended on that mm-hmm yeah, absolutely and made around. it a part of their usual budget and so having to downsize and adjust will take great effect on them right so what advice do you have for families that have to make that adjustment they're going mm -hmm. to see less in food stamps now mm -hmm. so how can they compensate for that mm -hmm. well there's about 98,000 fam individuals in Kent County that mm -hmm. are receiving FAP right now and so we need to make sure that they know that this is happening that it's a permanent thing and we do have resources available but our food pantries and other emergency food suppliers will be affected and will be taking more people in so we're just trying to keep people informed resourced and aware of what's going on right now mm -hmm. now the families that need that extra food um, mm -hmm. how are you getting the word out to them mm -hmm. We're just making sure that we, we keep the resources in front of them. Um, our local Department of Human Services has given issuance to all of the families who will be noticing the effect. And so we're making sure to keep people informed, but we know that there will be um, some issues where people just aren't able to get the information. And so they'll be re relying on the food pantries to convey that to them. Sure. What can the community do about this? We need the community right now to understand how much this is affecting us. About one in every six Kent County residents is going to um, have this shift in their income and so we need to be aware of um, the increase that we'll be facing at our emergency food suppliers and we need to come around them and support them we have a network of 75 food pantries in Kent County that our community needs to help support whether it's through donation or volunteerism but we need to know that people who are used to receiving one kind of help are going to be turning elsewhere to find it and that'll be to our emergency providers so hopefully the community can step up and help in this yep we have a great community we, we do know they will but it's gonna yeah. be be a tight season so we need that okay Emma Rosauer thanks for joining us tonight getting the word out mm -hmm. from hunger response director for access of West Michigan we appreciate your time today thank you